coming up. Short-horn cattle are ideal for the beef industry because they cover the whole gamut. They breed well, they're people friendly, and the quality of their beef has, has always been very good. We don't ever trim feet. Cows calve on their own, docility, and zero maintenance. Shorthorn, America's first beef breed, next on The American Rancher. And welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. This year marks the 150th anniversary of America's first beef breed association. Shorthorns were the first British breed to call America home and played a key role in the expansion of agriculture across the country. Staying true to their purpose, shorthorn cattle contribute economic traits like docility, maternal excellence, feedlot performance, and tenderness. These qualities make this breed the perfect match to crossbreed with Angus and other British-based cattle. Our first look at America's First takes us to Illinois, where the Mathers family is celebrating 170 years of Leveldale Farms. Leveldale Farms started in 1852 with my grandfather's grandfather moving out from Ohio. People sometimes ask me, is that a family name? And I say, no, it depicts the original farm ground, which was level or flat. That's where they started farming and raising livestock. Both my grandfather and my father were very active in the Shorthorn Association. And uh, they were both selected builders of the breed. They were both presidents, served as presidents of the association. My grandfather's brother and my grandfather started exhibiting them in the 1920s and then went to exhibiting coast to coast for decades. They exhibited over eight months of a year, and that was the promotion in that period of time, how people got to know your herd. My grandfather was the first invited to come to the United Kingdom to Perth, Scotland, to judge the Big Shorthorn Show in the 1940s. The shorthorn breed and the people they got to know across the United States and other parts of the world kept enhancing their lives. We're always looking for that attractive animal, but never discounting utility traits. We don't ever trim feet, cows calve on their own, Structure, function, longevity, docility, and zero maintenance is our goal for ourselves and our customers. Now we're having a sale coming up this fall, October 30th. We classically call our sales an investment sale, but we're calling this one leading in the celebration. And that's the celebration of 2022, where the American Shorthorn Association turns 150 years old, the oldest association in the United States of America. And Leveldale Farms turns 170 years in 2022. We're gonna put in more cattle than we normally put in one of our sales. We also have some tremendous consigners. The Leone family with Peak View, right here in Illinois, Cagwin Cattle Company, and the Bowmans out of Eastern Indiana. So we'll have a good distribution of cattle, many young, attractive heifer calves that could win cattle shows, as well as mature cows. Some of these mature cows are gonna be proven over and over again and have produced top bulls. They're now leading herds across the country. So we're very excited about this upcoming leading in the celebration investment sale at Leveldale. Leveldale Farms is hosting its Leveldale Investment Sale on October 30th, 2021 in Mason City, Illinois. The sale features top individuals from one of the oldest and most iconic shorthorn herds in America. Visit leveldale.com for details. Gentle, quiet, easy to handle, the shorthorn is the perfect family-centric breed to teach children lessons of responsibility and stewardship. Next, we head north of Dallas to WHR Shorthorns, where Bill Racer continues his family's 100-year heritage of raising top-quality shorthorn cattle. 
We are at WHR Shorthorns up in Van Alstine, just north of Dallas, and it's in the Blackland Prairies. My family started out in the 1920s, and uh, they were raising shorthorns at that time. So we've had a strong shorthorn influence over all that time frame, which is now about 100 years. My dad used shorthorn bulls, didn't register many cattle, but when I got in high school, he helped me start a little herd back in the 60s. Then, like I say, this particular herd of cattle, we started in 1984 and have built up on it since then. Our operation is centered around raising show heifers primarily. We really like the show heifer business and helping young people get started in the cattle business. And the shorthorns fit that bill very well. They're very gentle. At the same time, they're very productive, both from a uh, fertility standpoint and also from the ability to produce beef. We home raise our own beef here and eat it, and we think it's as good a beef as you can find. Ladies and gentlemen, the oxygen is on. I'm going to take down here for the new year. Well, we're having our uh, annual production sale, which I think this is our 27th. We sell a, a group of show heifers, fall barns, spring barns, and of course we also try to sell some breeding cattle, and our breeding cattle are all aimed at producers who like to try to produce show cattle. We sell a four or five bulls in every sale, and we also sell a set of, of bred heifers. It's a good time of the year every year to have our shorthorn sale here, and we usually get a good crowd, and our uh, heifers usually go on and do pretty well for the customers that come in here. We take pride in, in, in our customer service. I think that's the most rewarding part of our business is the relationships we've made over the years. And some of those relationships, as I say, have, have lasted 30 years and through two or three generations of families. And that'd be one of my favorite parts of the cattle business. Once a family gets hooked on short horns, I think they stay there. I think they, uh, the kind of breed of cattle you can tie to and, and stay hooked to. I think they're easy keepers, they breed well, they're people friendly, and the quality of their beef has, has always been very good. They finish well. I just think compared to all the other breeds that they've got a lot of characteristics that some of the other breeds don't have. You have to give up some characteristics to gain others, and I think the shorthorn is, is an overall, can provide many of the needs that people are looking for. I think in the next five or 10 years, we will try to continue the same business we've been doing is being involved in the show heifer industry and, and being involved in the production of beef cattle and, and some bulls and continue to see the shorthorns be a part of our family. Up next. We have a local custom cut butcher shop in town and do a direct retail operation through that. Shorthorns have really high carcass quality. I mean, obviously the big two driving forces are flavor and tenderness, and so that allows for a higher quality product that people really appreciate. See how shorthorn families are shaping the future of the beef industry. That's after the break on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. For the cattle industry to grow, ranchers must raise the highest quality beef to supply the marketplace. That's why Indiana's Smith Family Farms got into locally raised beef. Their commitment to livestock stewardship translates into the best shorthorn beef possible, raised in a sustainable environment. I really enjoy trying to make cattle better. Um, that's kind of always been my stance whether it's raising cattle for the show ring or managing our commercial herd of cattle. I just really enjoy making cattle better and trying to improve them as a group. Uh, we operate Smith Family Farms in Pendleton, Indiana. We run about 80 head of cattle and farm about 2,500 acres of uh, row crops and hay. And then we have a local custom cut butcher shop in town and do a direct retail operation through that. Real reason we have a lot of show horns is that's what we grew up showing. We fell in love with that family breed mentality, and so that's what our cow herd base really was built on. Shorthorns have really high carcass quality. 
I mean, obviously the big two driving forces are flavor and tenderness. Shorn's actually marble really well, which a lot of people don't realize. But then on top of that also, the distillery really ties into tenderness. And so that allows for a higher quality product that people really appreciate. Shorn mothering ability is really good as far as an ability to take care of a calf when it's born. Then on the flip side, shorn cattle crossbreed really well, adding some attractiveness. So as far as feed efficiency, we really think shorns tie in really well. With them pushing mature size and market size up, you know, you want cattle that will put on fat in terms of marbling as well as muscular growth. So they are able to convert feed, but also continue to grow and reach a more optimum market size as we continue to want cattle to be bigger. So I got the opportunity to work with the American Shorn Association in a couple different ways. Um, I actually got to serve as a president of the junior board and got to help run the fantastic events that they put on and really help building that family breed mentality that the Shorns has built within the show industry and, and why those people are so loyal. I think the association's doing a fantastic job really pushing uh, the breed to commercial producers and really hitting on the shorthorn breed's growth as well as trying to push these genetics back into commercial producers. We hope to continue to grow. Definitely want to continue to grow the show cattle side and then definitely just keep growing the store. I'm really trying to push some more volume through there and you know reach new people as this area kind of grows up here around Indianapolis. Last year, when the meat cases in major food retailers lay barren, the American Shorthorn Association launched an initiative to help keep beef on the table. Their marketing program called Shorthorn Beef Locally Raised helps producers supply their communities with high quality shorthorn beef. If you're interested in buying delicious shorthorn beef near you, visit shorthorn.org or follow the American Shorthorn Association on Facebook for more information. At livestock shows across the country, America's next generation is hard at work learning skills to carry into the future. This summer, the National Junior Shorthorn Show was one of the largest in history. Shorthorn juniors competed in and outside of the show ring while building a love for the breed. We're standing here today at, at the 2021 National Junior Shorthorn Show and Youth Conference. The youth conference started right here in Louisville, Kentucky in 1968. We get 400, 450 exhibitors here. We get somewhere between 600 to 700 head of cattle here. We had 932 entries. So when we really look at this, this is where the families come. This is where they share. Their children become bonded for life. They are taught to stand up and talk in front of people. They meet other people, they come out of their shell, they grow as young people. They become our future leaders, not only of this breed, but of our communities and our country. We work our cattle twice, three times a day, washing them, getting their hair popping, then feeding them. My favorite part is showing and just like community and working with my animals. Just I just love animals. I have my own children here and it's been just a fantastic way to, to raise, uh, raise them in, in, a, in a breed that's just very family oriented. And at the end of the day, they, they, they feel some fulfillment to, of what they've accomplished and, and worked hard to do, so. They um, learn a lot of responsibility because they're in charge of taking care of their animals, not only at the event, but before the event. They have to feed them um, and prepare them for this event. They have to wash. And that's just on the animal side of it. There's also multiple competitions for these kids. There's a speech contest so they can learn speaking skills, teen sales, they learn how to sell an animal or a product or market themselves. I enjoy being a spokesperson for the shorthorn breed industry and getting to talk to the different breeders and going to the different shorthorn shows and social events. Um, I enjoy the people at the shorthorn shows. They become a second family. I've got a daughter myself, and to be able to tell her that my grandpa did this a long time ago really puts a smile on your face. Uh, it's, it's something that's pretty special to have, so uh, it makes me remember what my dad probably felt like when he took me to my first show. Uh, that's something that's very special about this breed, and, and it's always going to be that way. 
We're a breed that has really had long-term family ties, involvement for many, many years, and I think this just really epitomizes what we try to do to build a strong foundation with our young cattle breeders. After the break. We know they're easy to work with. They're easygoing cattle, and people can see that. We want them to come and see uh, and interact with the animals as, as we do every day because I think it's a really good selling point for the cattle. They're docile, uh, they're easy to work with. As a whole, they are gentle cattle that genuinely like attention and affection. It's voices from across the land sharing why shorthorns should be in your pastures. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. The shorthorn breed is more than a membership, it's a team. The shorthorn community is home to those who share a vision for breeding gentle cattle and providing a sustainable lifestyle for raising high quality stock. Shorthorns are what made me love the industry. It was kind of the spark that struck the match of passion within me for the livestock industry was the shorthorn breed. To us, the shorthorn breed has meant family. Really, it's uh, what has kept our family close, kept our family active. The shorthorn breed is a family-oriented breed. We've used different breeds of cattle here throughout our history, but nothing has been able to keep up with the, the fast pace that the shorthorn cattle have. This breed of cattle is the most adaptable to selection pressures and different environments, and they work very, very well for us. I just love working with shorthorns. Their dispositions were what sold me. They're very non-reactive. They are beef cattle, and they gain well. They grow out well. Shorthorn cattle are ideal for the beef industry because they cover the whole gamut. They are a versatile breed. They obviously show very well. They're easy fleshing. They marble well. They improve carcass qualities. Truly find the value in the cattle in terms of their maternal ability, their marbling ability, their docility. You know, they're going to lay down half calves, raise calves, produce heavy calves at weaning. If you take them on the commercial side, they're going to have adequate marbling and then also have be very high cut ability kind of cattle, so they're very productive in the feed yard as well. We know they're easy to work with. They're easygoing cattle, and people can see that. We want them to come and see. Uh, and interact with the animals as, as we do every day because I think it's a really good selling point for the cattle. Every cow on this place I can walk up to when they're here, scratch them, feed them. There's nothing wild about a shorthorn cow. Our industry has a family feel. Also, the cattle are easy going. They're docile. Uh, they're easy to work with. As a whole, they are gentle cattle that genuinely like attention and affection. We are a family-oriented breed, but we're a business breed at the same time. They're a great breed for kids to get started with in 4-H in terms of docility, and more importantly, they're a great breed for any commercial producer to have. We're a wonderful breed that crosses great with the other breeds out there. We add to the carcass quality that's there, the calvability, lower birth weights, just less problems in general. It uh, gives them some maternal ability and some milking ability and, and uh, hybrid vigor. The shorthorns do a good job of that as well as temperament and docility of them. Makes an awfully good cross. The shorthorn breed has done such a good job in recent years keeping track of those genetics. Dad and I talk about all the time utilizing our purebred genetic gene pool to optimize on heterosis and complementarity. Shorthorns do a lot of things well, but the one thing I know they do well is cross back on other cows. You know, one of the things that shorthorn bull offers a commercial cow herd is maternal heterosis. I mean, they really bring a lot of hybrid vigor when you cross those back on an outcross breed. There's no question adding in the feed intake and strengthening the, the carcass data that they have will really help move the shorthorn breed forward. There's some outstanding people in this breed that work very hard, are very dedicated to improving it, but maintaining its strengths as well. There's many reasons to get in the shorthorn business. I mean, there's many facets, but it's family. It brought our family together, and I think it brought a lot of other families together. That, I believe, is the strongest uh, reason to get in the shorthorn breed. The people within the shorthorn breed are like a family. That's one of the reasons why we are so passionate about the breed, because we're passionate about the people in the breed. You know, we have so many things going on in our lives every day, and when I can enjoy just walking amongst the cattle, knowing that they're providing for our family, that's, that's fun. 
We hope you enjoyed this journey across the country with America's First. The American Shorthorn Association will begin celebrating its 150th anniversary next month in Kansas City, Missouri. As part of the festivities, the association is proud to release Shorthorn and the American Cattle Industry, a detailed book about the history of the breed and its influence on beef production. A special thanks to authors Dr. Bob Hogue and Dr. Burt Moore for their efforts. The book will be unveiled at the association's annual meeting open house at the office on October 22nd. The ASA will also be celebrating the 150th milestone with a special program that will air right here on RFD TV the evening of October 14th. Learn more about everything Shorthorn at shorthorn.org. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Established in 1987, Superior Livestock Auction is the largest cattle marketing network in North America. We sell forward contracted, load lots of ranch fresh cattle on video and internet auctions. Last year, over 1.4 million head were sold by Superior Livestock Auction, and they brought top dollar. World Champion Auctioneers present your cattle to buyers across the nation. We have over 8,000 active and qualified buyers maximizing competitive bidding and true price discovery. Your cattle stay at the ranch until delivery, and your superior rep writes you a check when it's done. Simple as that. Our job is getting you the best paycheck possible. We know that most producers only get one paycheck a year for their cattle, and more cattle men and women trust us to get the most out of every sale. Call us at 800-422-2117 or go online to learn more about how Superior Livestock Auction can work for you.